and a titled GameStop mother slash manager tries to prevent me from buying game. This is a few years old but I figured it could use a place here so everyone can marvel this women's sense of entitlement. This was back in 2013 when GTA 5 just came out and I was about 14 at the time so my dad had to accompany me to the GameStop to purchase it. Me, myself, D, my father, M, entitled manager, NM, nice and I believe superior manager. After finding two copies of GTA off the large table they had set up in the back myself and my father got in the long line to pay for our items and I hand mine to my dad. We spend about 30 minutes in line each excited to get home and play and finally we reach the till where M is running one of the registers. M, hi just that for you today. D, yes, my dad goes to pull out his card to pay as I stand there. M looks towards me and down at the two identical games getting a weird toothy grimace on her face. M, you aren't buying that for your son are you? D, um I'm purchasing both of these games and they will be on debit. M goes to take both games off the counter putting them behind her. M, I'm sorry we don't sell to youth and your son is 10 years old. I would never buy such a game for my child. How dare you corrupt his childhood like that? Me, I'm actually 14B. I am of course cut off by our M here. M, sweetie quiet, the grown-ups are talking. At this point the other cashier has stopped ringing up and several people are turning over to look. D, I am purchasing both of these games and I am an adult whatever game I choose to give to my child at home is my own business. M, no, I would never buy such a game for my son and I won't sell it to you neither will my cashiers. You are causing a scene please leave. D, kinda just blinks at this lady's idiocy, ma'am the only one making a scene here is you, I just wish to purchase a few video games. M, not here you want, I'm calling the police right now since you are trespassing. While M turns around and actually dials 911 to call the police she begins to give information, of course exaggerating the situation claiming my father yelled and threatened her and banged on the counter, none of which happened. My dad not wanting to cause any more problems goes to leave after grabbing his card from the machine. M, the police are on their way. Do not come back in this store or you will be arrested for trespassing. At this point the entire store is kind of in a bit of shock over just what went down. This woman had just been yelling the whole time. As we get to the door some guy in a dress shirt and tie comes out from the back and quickly walks over to us as we are leaving. NM, sir please would you wait just one moment one of the cashiers just told me what happened and I checked the cameras, I am terribly sorry. We wait by the door as he goes up to the counter and starts laying into M verbally. NM, M, we talked about this. You can't be confronting customers. You can only deny sales to minors of which this gentleman isn't. M, he is buying that game for a minor. NM, and that is his own right as an adult, we don't enforce parenting choices here, this was explained to you when you transferred. M, well, it's too late now I've officially warned him for trespassing and the police are on their way. NM, he kinda just gets this bewildered face, you called the police, on a customer, trying to buy a game. NM at this time took EMS ID and key lanyard off her neck and told her to go wait in the back. Called us back to the counter and rung up one of the games at a heavily discounted price and giving us one free and apologized profusely again explaining this manager has been warned before for this and that he will deal with the police when they arrive and not to worry. We left, and in the next few months we never saw M there again, I can only assume she was transferred or fired.